Hello friends, so I'm trying out this cheap two-axis brushless gimbal that I got from banggood.com uh, Let's see, uh, it arrived good condition I take it out, uh, this is the gimbal Right, nice metal Comes with some uh, jumper cables here, not uh, model airplane cables And some instructions, we don't need those Okay, maybe we do uh, to set up your gimbal, you're gonna need a camera and a battery. Okay, you have to mount your camera first because the sensors in the unit will pick up if there is no camera and respond differently. Okay, we just tape this guy on. Now the camera with just the tape is a bit loose, so a bit later I will add an elastic band or something. Okay, there's the camera on. Now without power, it falls, falls to the right from my point of view. Okay, so we need some power here. We connect a 3S battery to the uh, charging lead or the balance lead from the battery to the unit and hold it in position. Okay, there, after a few seconds, it's calibrated, and now we get uh, okay leveling. It's uh, not perfect, because we need to do some manual calibrations first. Okay, to do some manual calibration, you press one time to calibrate the uh, accelerometer, and this is, will detect the movement and count the movement, so there it's doing a better job. Now press two times to I calibrated the gyro and this will move the camera to its correct position better. Okay, so now we're getting a more responsive movement. Now press three times and it will lock on the position that you hold it in. So you can hold it almost any direction and it will maintain that. Okay, very simple. So you can turn the unit upside down, press the button three times, hold it in the position you want, and now the camera will maintain the position even if it's uh, upside down. Yeah, and it seems to hold with no problems. So you can mount that on top of your airplane or quadcopter instead of underneath. The unit with the camera uh, comes in at 238 grams. So a fair bit of weight, maybe a small quadcopter will struggle with this, but this guy, DJI 450, uh, with a 4S battery, I don't think will have any problem. I'm going to mount the gimbal just on the uh, front camera mount here that comes with the landing gear. Uh, just use some cable ties. Uh, I'm not going to screw the gimbal to the frame or anything like that, just a uh, four cable ties and we should be good to go. Now the gimbal and the camera uh, are just behind the edges of the landing gear and also those two front pins that stick out so if there is a crash or rolls over uh, the camera and the gimbal will be protected a little bit by the arms and the, la the landing gear so it's in a, in a roll cage in effect. Okay, let's just trim these, these cable ties off here. The gimbal came with these rubbish connector cables that uh, did not even stick in the transmitter. So I rather replace with a proper servo lead. If you use a, a servo lead with power, I've wired up the VR, this little knob here on the transmitter, to the gimbal and made it very slow to respond. So now you can see if I change the, the knob then it will slowly catch up to, to the parameter. This will hopefully let me get some nice smooth shots without any shaking when lifting up. Yeah, and it can do this maneuver, the slow tilt up, even while stabilizing, which is very nice. Let's go 
the other way. Now very slowly the camera will tilt upwards without any control. Hmm, looks good. Looking forward to seeing this uh, camera, this gimbal in action. Yeah. Okay, here's a bit closer view. You can see uh, I've used an elastic band here to help fasten the GoPro because without it, the strap, uh, the camera is a little bit loose, and that sends the, the gimbal into a little bit of a shake sometimes. But with an electric, an extra elastic band. No problems. It's nice and smooth. Okay, here's the stabilizer working from a different angle. So here is the power cable. I've uh, pulled out the power lead from the servo cable because the 3S battery was trying to power uh, the DJI flight controller you know, sort of back into the unit which was browning out both the servo and the flight controller so rather than have the 4S and the 3S fight of who gets control I've got the 3S battery just controlling the, the gimbal and the 4S battery just controlling the plane okay let's go and fly test it out and we'll see how this performs